I wanted to make another very quick video about um, insoles and inserts. I bought a few of them. I tried out Superfeet's, Superfeet Green, Superfeet Carbon Pro, and what I've been using recently is the these food beds are from Power Slide. These are the ones you get in Carbon Freeze and USD Carbon Skates. These come in different um, harnesses. This is the softer one. Both of them are the soft one. And some skates have the harder one. I don't really understand why. And they never really specify it. But the harder one makes my heel swell up immediately. Just if I stand in them in for like a minute. My, my heel will hurt for probably two days. This is the one that I'm using. This is from the Eugen Enin Carbon Freeze, but it's pretty much the same as this stock one that came with the USD Carbons. This is the, I didn't do any modification to the front area. With this one I did shave off here, you see around the toes. Just to have some extra toe room, just some some wiggle room in my boots. Let's go on to the super free greens. Um, I was really expecting this to be lighter than this one, but it's a bit heavier. Um, okay, you guys probably don't care about weight as much as I do. So yeah, I did a few modifications. I also shaved off. A bunch of material around the toes. I normally need the comfort and shock absorption around the heel only. I would say these are very comfortable. These feel a bit hotter, somehow warmer, and a bit slippier than the carbon or carbon free foot beds. I tried these with and without the cup. It's a bit more stiffer, more supportive with the cup. I have, I think I probably have a regular foot, but this R Sport is a bit too much. I would say I could skate this without a problem. I would still prefer this one. It's about 10 grams lighter and I don't really notice it that it's there. So that means I'm really used to it and I feel really comfortable with these. These are the Superfeet Carbon Pro inserts. I was really curious to try these. Um, these are a bit heavy too, these are um, heavier than the carbon carbon free foot beds. Um, I don't really like this to be honest, this is very high performance stuff. This was, this is really made for hockey. To me, a bit too much our support to be honest. Um, I have a weird thing about I don't know how to say this. Um, if I get pressed in the arch area, for example, let's say by this, sometimes I get dizzy. I feel unstable and this has way too much arch support as well and it's not even flexible. So this is rigid, somewhat well, it flexes, but if you put your foot in, it will not flex much. So this is too high performance for me. I prefer comfort and lightness. But also, I don't want to get um, a very good springiness, good responsiveness. I don't want this to be just a impact absorbing material. I want it to be springy, but I also want it to, I need it to absorb some shocks if I land from, from a taller height. So, um, for my style, just for aggressive rollerblading, just smaller stuff, I'm going to keep sticking to the USD power slide foot beds. I would say that the, these are fantastic, but they are definitely not for me. This is something I'm going to use, the green ones, either with or without the cup
all right so for the fellow weight freaks out there here we go this is the unmodified size 12 size us 12 eu 46 here's the power slide this is 34 this is this is the one with shaving off front area 32 2 grams superfeed carbon pro 44 okay superfeed green with well, these are modified, so 42. I drilled out a bunch of holes just to remove some weight, and I have some rear shaving off without the cup. 44. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. So these were the foot beds and inserts that I tried recently. I just wanted to give some feedback on these, which one worked and which one didn't. Thanks for watching.